Good morning, children. How are you? Hope you all are staying safe at home. Children, in this video, we are going to study about yes, about lesson number chapter two. That is questions. Okay, children. Now this is your grammar part. Children, before this, we studied about the sentence. We know what do you mean by sentence. Now the next part is questions. Yes, children. When we ask question, okay. Sometimes we ask question to our friend. We ask question to our teacher. So we should know the correct way, grammatically correct way of asking questions. So so today in this video, we are going to study about that only, children. So let's start. See this first slide, children. If you are having your textbook, page number fifteen, please open your textbook. Yes, children. Let's get started. If you will see the slide, you will understand. Yes. See the dialogue, children. Read the dialogue. The words. What is that, Papa? Is a question. See, the boy is asking to his father. What is that, Papa? It is a star. What answer he is giving? It is a star. So we have to. uh see the questions okay so what question he asked what is that papa so a question ask someone something it begin with a capital letter and end with a question mark yes children a question ask someone something it begins with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark so you have to keep in your mind that a question ask someone something it begin with a capital letter and it end with a question mark for example children if you will see this now look at some more questions are you angry do you want to go to the museum is this your bicycle who is that man on the road what is your favorite color so all these are what these are questions yeah these are question see the first letter if you will see yeah uh, first letter of every question is a capital letter and if you will see at the end it is a question mark yes children so it is a question mark okay children now let's see some question which is asked in your book see tick the question and circle the sentence what is the question take this question uh, and circle the sentence so which one is the question you have to tick the question and you have to circle the sentence before that i just want to tell you about this children that is grammar byte a statement begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop as you all know that uh, uh, about the statement we will see about the statement a statement begin with a capital letter children yes yes children if you will see children take the question and circle the sentence uh, if you will see this uh, uh, your right side it is written that is the grammar byte a statement begin with a capital letter and it's end with a full stop yes before this we have seen the sentence and that i taught you that a statement begin with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop like that children here if you will see take the question and circle circle the sentence you have to take the question and circle the sentence okay so first one is what first one is a question why it is a question because it begin with a capital letter and it end with a question mark so we will take that yes children we will take that see you can see this yes we can take this okay yes so uh, second one if you will see i drink milk in the morning i drink milk in the morning see the first letter is a capital letter but at the end it is a full stop it is not a question mark so we will say it is a sentence so second one is a sentence yes see the third one it is it is pan hot is the pan hot is this a pan hot is the pan hot okay they have given is the pan hot we uh, actually there uh, there should be is this a pan hot okay so it is a question again so third again we will take the uh, sorry third one is 
yes it is a question see the fourth one uh, the boy is walking the dog the boy is walking the dog the boy is walking uh, walking the dog okay so here uh, the boy is walking with the dog it should be there so we will say it is a sentence again fifth it is a lovely day it is a sentence because it end with a full stop then we are having sixth one mike paul and jim are watching a film again it is a sentence okay why are you later uh, sorry late to school so this is a question then today was a hot day again it is a it one is a sentence we uh, want to have ice cream again it is a sentence yes and tenth one is that a, a kingfisher so it is a question understood so two things you have to keep in your mind children questions how you will identify if and it begin with the capital letter and it end with the question mark it is a we can say it is a question but if it begin with the a capital letter and it end with the full stop then we will say it is a word yes it is a statement so you have to keep all this thing in mind and it is very easy children see the next part children take page number 16 making question from statement see children read this sentence this is my cat statement is this my cat see same statement we can make it in question we can change into question what do you have to do you have to first take uh, the uh, you can see here you can take the first uh, is 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 the uh, helping verb so you can take it first like this is this my cat question mark you are hungry are you hungry so don't you feel it is very st easy from statement we can make question also so to change a statement to a question we place the verb at the beginning of the sentence in the other word we exchange the place of the noun or pronoun and the verb understood children so if we you have to keep this in your mind for example brazil is the largest country in south africa america so, okay so uh, what i will do i will change the verb so brazil is see is so when we are making see is 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 the verb helping verb okay so what i am doing here i am making a question same statement i am making it uh, in a question form so what i will say uh, i will not say brazil is now i will take is uh, in the starting okay in the beginning so i will say is brazil the largest country in south america so don't you feel it is very easy yes we are changing in question we are changing the noun and the verb okay second one zootopia is a children film sorry ha huh, yes zootopia is a children film so what we will do come and tell me yes which one is the verb is which one is the verb is so we will say is zootopia a children film question mark so don't you feel it is very easy from making question from statements if statements are there easily we can make question from it yes children see the next slide children this is my cat is this my cat yeah this is my cat so we will say is this my cat in the question form see the statement you are hungry are you hungry yes again here if you will see see children are is the verb so when we are making question we are putting the verb in the beginning so are you hungry okay is it clear to everyone yes see the name first like this is my cat what i said this is my cat so is is a verb by making question we are saying is this my cat so very easily we can make from statement we can make question yes children now see the last part children we use word like who what why where when and how at the beginning of sentence to form a question children these words are always followed by the verb keep in your mind these words are always which word who what why were where when how they all are followed by the verb for example who is the author of this book why were you absent yesterday when will she come back what are you having for lunch where is my bag how are you today 
we can't say who the author of this book why you absent yesterday why were you absent when she come back we will not say that is grammatically wrong you have to use the verb when will she come back what are you having for lunch what we can't say what you are having for lunch that is a wrong english okay what are you having for lunch where is my bag where my bag we will not say where is my bag how are you today we will not say how you today how are you so always remember whenever we are using the words like who what why where when and how at the beginning of the sentence to form a question we these words are always followed followed by the verb yes children so today what we learn yes today we learn that how to make uh, that uh, question always begin with the yes capital letter and ends with a question mark statement begin with a capital letter but ends with full stop we know that we can uh, from the statement we can make question also by placing verb at in the big bang okay is it clear to you and the third thing which we learn that is how to use who what why where when and how when we begin question with these word we have to follow the they should be followed by the verb okay children so go through it hope you understood